Hello folks and welcome. In this video, we're going to go over quickly how to create our first text broadcast or SMS campaign. Now the first step I'll need to do is I'll need to compose or type out the message that I want to send to my recipients. This also assumes that the recipients I'm sending this message to have already given me opt-in consent to send them text messages. For further explanation on opt-in consent for sending and receiving text messages, please consult our terms of service or your local attorney or legal counsel. Let's assume that I want to send a message to a couple of customers or policyholders at my insurance agency to remind them about daylight savings time. First thing I need to do is figure out the number I want to send, uh, to use rather as my caller ID. That will either be Callfire shared short code 67076. You can also rent what's called a long code or a 10 digit number from Callfire. The price depends on whether you subscribe to a billing plan or if you don't have a billing plan, but it starts at $3 per month and that can be your caller ID as well. You cannot, unfortunately, utilize a number of your own as the caller ID. That would mean you can't use your cell phone number as the caller ID with Callfire to send out these text messages, nor could you use, say, a business number of sorts. So I'll go ahead and type in my message over here. There it is. I'll even include the opt-out option as well, just courtesy. I'll press next. Five ways I can upload or tell Callfire who to send this message to. I can upload a spreadsheet from my computer. I can choose from a list already added to Callfire. I can add contacts on a one-off basis. If I had rented a keyword from Callfire, that would allow me to, for example, get folks to opt in. I could find all the opted in folks from that keyword by going to the filter option, or I can just copy and paste from a text source. Let's go ahead and copy and paste from a text source. Call this my first SMS campaign. Type my number over here and press submit. Now a call fire will go through the phone number validation process to ensure that it's a valid number, there's no issues with it. Okay, I'll go ahead and merge it with an existing contact. Press continue. I'll go ahead and agree to the terms of service. Excellent. I know that one number will receive a text message because under description it says one remaining. I wanted to disable this batch and add a new batch, I could just press on disable and then press add contacts. I'll press the green next button to proceed to the next step. I'm going to give this campaign a name. I'll call this my first text message broadcast. I got a label to this campaign, which might be useful if I have different kinds of text message campaigns that I send out. I can filter by them just like I can in an email client. I can have the campaign resume the next day if it's not finished. Why would that happen? Because the schedule, I fell outside the boundaries of the schedule. That implies that I can also set or add a schedule to this campaign. Or I can also have it start immediately. I'll just go ahead and start immediately. I'll press finalize and that text message should go out. We go to view results over here. I can see how that campaign's going along. Go to text records and I can see how my calls are going. Status is sent, meaning the text message went out. There's my phone, it went off, it looks like I got that message. So I can even reply to that message. I can even see those replies inside of Callfire. So go to text inbox. I can see those replies too. So again, very useful. I could even reply back if I wanted to once more. Go over here, I can also add some more numbers to my campaign by going to the contacts section. Just adding contacts. I can change the settings on the fly. I can also change the body of my text message and what's being sent on the fly as well. One note about the text inbox, if you're sending out information that's a bit time sensitive, make sure that you tell folks that they have a three hour window to reply back to you in order to ensure that message does go back to your own text message inbox. If they try to reply after the three hour window, that message will not go there. I wanna thank you all for taking the time to watch this quick video. You have many choices when it comes to evaluating text message vendors like Callfire, and we certainly hope that we've lit a path to success. Should you seek further instruction or would like to talk to us, a couple ways to reach us. You can always call us at the 877-897-3473 number. You can email us at support by emailing support at callfire.com. If you're Twitter friendly, you could always tweet us. Our handle is at callfire. We have chat support here from 11 a.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Or if you're more of a visual learner, you can read through our robust and very easy to use help documentation over here. Again, thanks for watching.